morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, I'm again in my favorite place because I love this garden. But it's very, very cold. Very, very cold. No snow, but really cold. So, we just had lots of tea and a bit of cake. But I can't find Teddy. I looked everywhere for him. After he had his tea and cake, poof, he left. I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. Teddy. Ted. Rob, have you seen Teddy? What are we going to do? We can't start without it. The story today, I'm crying, I'm sorry, is about Tabby McCat, it's about a cat, but I want Teddy. Where is he? What, Rob? What are you saying? Rob, shout! I can't hear you! Behind you! <gasps> Ted! Oh, my little boy! Okay. Okay, hey, wow, I've got a cool jacket on too. Hey, that was my jacket. So that's where my jacket went. He took my jacket. It's okay, Ted, you've forgiven. Oh, so soon he came back. He came back. He came back for more cake, probably. Okay, so now we have a story about Tabby McCat. It's about a cat and a kitten and the people in the streets. And, hmm, nice story. Again, by Juna Donaldson. I love her books. Thanks again for watching us. Super, super, super. Makes us so happy. Hey, Ted, the more you watch, the more we produce and create. Very good. So, Tabby McTat was a busker's cat. A busker. A busker is a street performer. With a meow that was loud and strong, the two of them sang of this and that, and people threw coins in the old cat's hat. Coin, coin, coin. And this was her favourite song. Me, you and the old guitar, how perfectly, perfectly happy we are. I sing well, eh? Somewhere. Meow! And the old guitar, how perfect, happy we are. You think I can sing, Rob? You think my next thing will be singing? No, Robert's not very happy with that. Beautiful pictures here again. One morning, while Fred ate some bacon, Fred is the busker sitting on the stairs. Bacon and bread. <gasps> Bacon and bread! McTat took a stroll round the block, then stopped for the, on the doorstep, and he sat. All of a sudden, a gorgeously glossy and green-eyed cat. She was black, with one snowy white sock. Oh, do you like cats? We love cats, don't we? There are lots of cats in this garden here. Yeah? And Teddy likes ha eating their food too, actually stealing their food anyway. So, Sock and McTat had a cat-to-cat -cat chat. I like that. Cat-to-cat -cat chat. Dog-to-dog -dog chat. And that's how their story began. Okay, everybody, sit comfortably, get your drink and your little snack, and off we go. For a while, they were chatting and meowing and purring about this and about that. A thief had his eye on an old checked cat hat. He eyed it. He snatched it and he ran. <gasps> oh no, the busker must be really upset. The busker gave chase, but he tripped on the lace and crash in a flash he was down. <gasps> I hope it didn't hurt. He broke his leg and he banged his head. Oh no! And the ambulance came, Nino, Nino, Nino. And he ended up in a hospital bed in a faraway part of town. Oh, that's sad, eh? Goodbye, Macbeth said. I must get back to Fred. But where had the bus gone? Fred didn't know what happened. Fred was in hospital. The sun went down and the sky grew black. The stars came out, but he didn't come back. McTat lingered on and on. But where's Fred? Do you know where Fred is? We do. We do. Okay. A week later, Sock, who's the other cat, took a stroll round the block and found a new friend looking thin. Oh, he's gone off and left me, said Tabby McTat. Then Sock said, My people, Pruella and Pat, will gladly find room for a fine Tabby cat. She was right, and they took McTat in. So at least he wasn't outside in the streets, getting all cold and hungry. But where's Fred? Next morning, old Fred left his hospital bed. Yeah! And he found his way back to the square. 
but the brass band stood where the pair once sat, and the band played this, and the band played that, and Fred looked all around for his loud-mouthed cat, but Tabby McTat was nowhere to be found. He wasn't there. Oh, so Fred was very sad. Now, McTat had a wife and a very full life with plenty of things to do. We know how busy life can be, don't we? Don't we, Teddy? We're always busy at home, eh? cleaning and cooking and shopping. Like washing Prunella, pouncing on Pat and hiding the car keys under the mat and keeping the newspapers nice and flat and giving the pens a occasional bat and nibbling this and nibbling that and he dreamed of his friend and the old checked hat so he was missing Fred and he always woke up with a meow meow where's Fred where's Fred and often he said what's happened to Fred and his paws took him back to the square he loved the square but he stood up and he went to stand where once they sat he didn't know where Fred was. And then there was a magician in the square. So, what happened to Fred? So, all of a sudden, he went back to the square and he saw this magician doing tricks. He pulled out this and he pulled out that and people threw coins in the tall black hat. And the busker was never there. So, there was somebody else. But he wanted Fred. Okay. One morning, Sock said, look under the bed and see three kittens I've had. Three kittens? Oh, we love kittens. They're all meow, 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 meow. And the meows, they looked at this and Susan looked at that. And the little kitten was called Samuel Spratt. He looked exactly the same as his dad. The three little kittens grew and grew and they learned how to meow. And MacTat sometimes sang them his song, and the Samuel Spratt with his tabby grey fur had a deafening meow and a very loud purr. And he simply loved singing along. Me and you and the old Kita are perfectly, perfectly happy we are. Meow, meow, the old Kita. And purring, and how happy we are. I'm a good singer, eh, Rob? What do you think? Robert doesn't like our singing, dead. I think I have to continue reading now. When Susan and Solomon found very good homes, their parents are very happy and proud. There was one home like this, and another one was like that. They were lovely. But nobody wanted poor Sam. They all said, his voice is too loud. He's too loud, a cat. Oh, that's not fair, eh? We like it when cats are loud and dogs bark. That's what they do. True, Ted. Ted is nodding, Ted is nodding. Now, Tabby McTat was a loving cat, but he couldn't stop dreaming about Fred. And one day he called for his wife and his son, and he told them, There's something that has to be done. I must go and find him. He said, mm-hmm, Now the adventure begins. So up and down and all over the town, he wandered a whole week long, looking for Seth and Fred and calling, Fred, Fred, where are you, Fred? For many a morning and an afternoon, by the light of the sun and the light of the moon, till he heard a familiar song. Just me and me and my old guitar. If I had a cat, I'd be happier for. Just me and the old guitar. Teddy told me to stop singing. With my cat, I'd be happier. I like singing. It's Tabby, Tabby my cat. It's my long lost cat. Oh, Fred was so happy. Then the two of them sang of this and that, and the people threw coins in a new checked hat. He has a new hat, Fred. But why did McTat feel sad? He was missing his wife and his comfortable life. And the dozens of things he used to do, like washing Prunella and pouncing on Pat, hiding the car keys under the mat, and keeping the newspapers nice and flat, and giving the pa- pens an occasional bat. Uh, but how could he tell the busker this? Then out of my shadow sprang Samuel. Oh, please, let me be the busker's cat, he said in a deafening meow. Okay, let's see what happens now. At the end now, now Samuel's pet is the busker's cat. 
with a meow that is loud and strong, and the two of them sing of this and that. Though Samuel's song is just a little bit flat, he's not a very good singer. And people throw coins in the old check hat, and this is their favorite song. Shall we tell? Okay, last time, Rob, last time. Me and you and the old guitar, the perfect, perfect, happy we are. Meow! And the old guitar, happy we are. Oh, that was a nice story. My singing was quite uh, not so good. I have to work on the singing, I think. What do you think, Ted? We need to do some singing lessons. Singing lessons, Rob, next. Singing lessons. I hope you enjoyed it. Please keep watching. And again, big, big thanks to Robert and Naomi and all of you for watching. Have a great day from me and Teddy. Bye.